गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स This is I am happy to inform that is our institution Sri Krishna College of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Research Center Parashala Trivandrum Kerala we have been accredited after our inspection this is our second time we have been getting accredited by um, NAC and by the National Assessment for the Accreditation Council have made. our institution we are very happy to inform about that and also see here uh, today we are continuing about for pharmacognosy and phytochemistry two students with the instrumental methods which is used for various analysis of um, uh, after extraction and isolation how we can determine and we can perform our uh, characterization of the compound which we discussed about last class about uv and ir spectroscopy we have discussed now today we will start with the uh, mass spectroscopy this is also an important instrument which has more uh, influence and also impact for um, uh, mass of a compound and to characterize our uh, uh, structure of structural elucidation so this is the instrument which is mass spectroscopy and uh, it is an uh, very um, uh, interesting as we have to the basic i want to make my student to think about the basic thing and so that he will be able to appear for even a short answer or even for a five mark question answers how it can be answered here we are not going in detail about the full mass spectrometer about the instrumentation about the basic principle behind and how the interpretation all these things if you want to discuss it will take a long time and also it needs it's a wider um, lecture it needs but we are going to have in phytochemical investigation what is the instrument's application and what is how it can characterize what type of characterization it can give for a structural elucidation in the natural compound so in what way it is being so we should know that for example here this is the picture which we are going to discuss this is just an outline about the picture that you can see a sample which is kept there and a gas of the sample is injected in the point and you can see there is a coil which is heated that is injected vaporized and then uh, there, and there is an ionization chamber it's not specifically shown very clearly but we need ionization of the sample compound to be done in the mass spectrometer that is very important the ionized compound the ionized compound actually the the parent compound as a daughter ionized compound that the charged one will be accelerated and it will pass through a magnetic field and divert you can see the diversion of the um that is a uh, 45 degrees and 90 degree diversion 45 uh, 40 to 50 degree diversion you can see that uh, the, the 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 ions passing through the magnetic field and diverted and detector will be there for analyzer so double analyzing double focusing um mass spectro photo spectrometer is more commonly used which we are going to discuss today just about the basic principle behind and actual application towards the characterization of any isolated natural compound from the plant source or even any natural animal source also if you are extracting an isolating compounds can also be identified for mass of the compound can be determined so how we can molecular weight the mass or the or molecular weight of a compound can be found in several ways one such technique is using mass spectro photo spectrometer not only for determination of the mass but the technique can be used for structural elucidation structure also can be elucidated by means of this mass spectrometer qualitative analysis and even advanced studies could be done by using mass spectrum of a compound so the principle behind a mass spectrometer or mass spectra 
is also called as positive ion spectra. That is what ionization of the molecule. Ionization of the sample is a major source of this instrument. So you should know that. See, for example, when you are discussing about UV spectrophotometer, there we were telling the source, the light is made to fall on the object and get excited. The organic molecule uh, getting excited by means of conjugated double bond system if UV light is passed and that ex uh, electronic energy change uh, is absorption of the light takes place and the transmitted light is to be determined by a detector of a photo multiplier tube. So here we are not going for the light energy. We are just making the sample to get ionized. Positive charge spectra, a line spectra is obtained, a bending spectra when you given in the magnetic field, you can see the picture which I gave you. So this makes the students to write very clearly about the mass spectrometer. Unlike other kinds of spectroscopy, we do not use any electromagnetic radiation. That, that's why I talk told you the example of UV spectrophotometer for excitation of the organic molecule. Here, we use electron bombardment, ionization, electron bombardment to convert a neutral molecule to a positive charged one. Also, so you should remember, this is the basic principle. Here, what is bombardment? of the molecule, electron bombardment to convert a neutral molecule to a positive charged one. Also, there is no ground or excited state which we have seen in the UV and the visible spectrophotometer or even fluorimetry, all this instrumentation analysis by light. That is, the molecules will get excited from the ground state and it may return to the ground state and emit the light, emission of light, absorption of the light, these type of electronic magno radiation change is not done here. Here, we electron bombardment to come convert a neutral molecule to a positive charged one. So, you can see this is an instrument. In this instrument, which, which I want to make you, the students, to remember and to write in a short manner. This is for pharmacognosy and phytochemistry. This is not for complete detail. As from the beginning, I told I am not going to give you the complete detail about mass spectrophotometer. Even I can explain you, but it takes another class. But it will be not necessary in this junction. You have to write, be able to write what is the application. What is the basic principle behind a mass spectrophotometer? Once it is understood by the student, it is possible for them to write very clearly in the examination point of view. So you see there is a sample inlet reservoir where the sample will be filtered by the sinter which is used and enter into the ionization chamber. There the bombardment takes place. There the uh, actually the positive ion will be formed from the sample which you have kept. There is a cathode and an anode where you can see the direct that the insertion of the probe of the solid sample can also be done directly if it is a solid sample. Then it get bombardment and the positive ion uh, ions will be formed and that will pass through the electromagnetic analyzer, the magnetic analyzer which is kept there. And the diversion, you can see the angle. Always mass spectro photo, mass spectrometer, it shows a deviation of the ion due to the electromagnetic field analyzer which is kept there. And magnetic analyzer, electrostatic, sorry, electrostatic analyzer and magnetic analyzer to give a proper analytical result for the ions which is produced. And it can enter directly, you can have a collector area for ions to be collected individually and also it can be detected and by means of detector it should be sometimes very very small quantity of impulse can be produced by this charged molecule ions which is coming from the sample which you have kept and that will give you that can be amplified you are amplifying means like photo multiplier tube which you used for the photons here also you can amplify 
by means of using this ion amplified multiplication of the electric current which is produced by this ion can be converted and recorded with a computer interpretation you will get a graph which is shown there and we will explain what is the chromatograph what is the graphical appearance what is the band what you apply or what you got in a graphical interpretation how we can find out the mass of a molecule can also be i will explain you in a short manner so this is about the instrument double focusing mass spectrometer why it is called double focusing because we have after ionization of the sample or the standard whichever you have kept there a sample and it will be focused by through an electrostatic analyzer then comes to the magnetic analyzer then to the detector and uh, there you can even amplified and detected clearly and recorded the mass spectro photo uh, sorry photo photo it's coming i'm sorry mass spectrometer ionization source can be done in different ways actually maldi that means as it is a mass assisted laser desorption ionization technique can be followed electro spray ionization can also be done an atmospheric pressure chemical ionization and also be done in the ionization chamber electron ionization can also be done chemical ionization alone can also be done these all possibility can be done the sample in the first source ionization chamber then inductively coupled plasma ionization is also possible inductively coupled plasma ionization is also possible in the for instrument in the initial source ionization chamber when when then it enters into the analyzer maybe anal statistic analyzer or the electrostatic analyzer then comes to the magnetic analyzer then comes to the detector before that you can amplified and you can record it different types of detectors are used depending upon the factors including dynamic range spectral information retention noise and suitably to the mass analyzer some of the commonly used type of detectors include electron multiplier electron multiplier electron multiplier which is the ions can be amplified multiplied and you can come find out the impulse or the current which is produced by the ions will give you the impulse what is the mass number or the mass can be identified or you can use the detector like faraday cups photo multiplier conversion of diode diode and array detectors can also be used in the case of ions can also be multiplied amplified and it gives very clear impulse of identifying the mass of the compound which you kept this is an example which i am giving the result how for toluene you know the toluene formula c6h5ch3 r c7h8 is the whole carbon and hydrogen number so you can see that a graphical expression which you got from the computer after the analysis after the ionization of the toluene which you kept in the sample compound ion ionized becomes the ions positive ions which passes through the uh, static electro uh, ele uh, that is electro analyzer then comes to the magnetic analyzer then come to the detector in the detector that is electro multiplier detector you can say example which will detect and it will give you charge in the y axis and the relative abundance percentage in the y axis and the charge m by z electron charge is given in the x axis in that you can see the peaks red color peaks which is shown there like a line line spectra you can see that line spectra this is line spectra of the mass spectrum electron ionization which is for toluene this gives an example you can see there are small peaks are available in in for 39 38 
and in 40, 50 you can see small peaks and 65 also you can see small peaks. In 90 and 91 and 92 you can see very strong peak which shows that that is the molecule, that is the presence of proton and the hydrogen. The long peak of the ion, size of the ion, you can see the maximum peak that you have to identify. This is an book which is given for the toluene which they have identified. You can see what the explanation. Electron ionization mass spectrum of the toluene which I told that is a peak you just imagine. In 92 there is a peak which is due to C7H8. That means the parent peak. That is the parent peak in 92. It is little shorter, but when you see the highest peak of M1, removal of one proton and becomes C7, H7 plus. That is the quasi-stable trop, um, tropylium cation. After a, a hydrogen is removed, cation. But if you see the parent ion addition of charge, by the ionizing chamber you will get 92 and 91 you have the maximum peak this is how they used to find out the peak is obtained by the ions which is produced from the sample which you kept this is all small sample small structure maybe a big sample big structure maybe having many ions will give you many peaks in that these small peaks are due to the proton carbon separately in the ring and outside the ring these all sometimes there are the peaks can be seen. This is line spectrum which can be obtained from the mass spectrum. So this gives you some idea about the basic principle about mass spectrum. There is lot. We should know that what is the charge which is used, what type of temperature which is used, what is the um, MV value which is used for analyzer, how it will get analyzed and what is the passage of these ions through the channel which is shown in the picture. These all things you will be studying in your Analytical chemistry. This is just I have given the principle. If a question is asked, give the principle behind the mass spectrometer and its application towards the phytochemistry in pharmacognosy. Five mark question. Then the students have to write this basic principle behind. What are the application? Structural elucidation. We were talking about the characterization of the natural compound using nitrogen rule. Peak matching, fragmentation pattern which you got the line graph compound of percentage abundance in the y-axis of isotopes. Structure elucidation of organic compounds can be done. Detection of impurities. Impurities present in the herbal drugs and the formulation can be detected by the addition peaks, additional peaks which is present. The impurities which just now we have shown there is additional peaks. Highest value of the mass peak and the highest value of the mass peak than compound itself. Sometimes there is all are low. Sometimes if it is impurity may increase the highest peak may be given additional peaks may be found out. And this may be the fragment pattern can also be identified for impurities present in the compound. And you can see the quantitative analysis also can be done. The intensity of the peak corresponding to the position of the fragment of the original one by comparing with the standard drug that is the original drug the quality of the sample can also be estimated. Drug metabolism study can also be done by meta mass spectrometer by recording the mass spectrum of a metabolite and that of pure drug. Pure drug what is the graph which you obtained and the metabolite which is isolated and you can see that one and you can see what type of mass reduction or increase what type of conversion of the molecule change also give you the identification by mass spectrometer. Clinical, toxicological, forensical application is also there. Very minute quantities of drug can be used in this instrument to find out mass of that and hence the substance can be identified from the mass spectro pattern. So it's a very good interesting instrument which can be useful for even herbal and the plant natural isolated compound can be characterized for structural elucidation. So we will see in the next class about the NMR spectroscopy because 
Mass spectroscopy is one instrument which is applied for this phytochemistry investigation or characterization of isolated compound. So this is the next one, NMR, Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy. This we will discuss in the next class. Thank you. I make it in the short short, but listening to the student will be easy and to make understanding easier.